Well, a warm welcome along to our preview of the Premier League action for New Year's Day. Myself, Jack Ogilvy, I'm a co-presenter, James Mason. I've looked up three games that we think are particular highlights of the fixture list. The first we've looked at is Manchester City against Everton. City 2-7 to to win, Everton 8-1 to with a draw 5-1. to But the real big talking point here is Carlo Ancelotti's fine start to life in the dugout for the Toffees. I know you fancy them, James. Yeah, actually, they, they look quite good. They've had two games, two victories. They had a 2-1 against Newcastle away from home last time out as well. So they showed a bit of resilience because they went ahead, got pegged back and managed to get that goal again. One player that's massively improved under Ancelotti as Dominic Calvert-Lewin uh, he scored a brace in that game so he's in good form at the moment it'd be interesting because City they look too far away from the title now 14 points Aguero has already said as well that they're too far ahead now whether that's a bit of mind games for Liverpool who knows but it does look like it's a bridge too far for them really um, it, it's hard to look past City sometimes I mean five wins from the last six home Premier League games so they're going to be very difficult to try and beat but I think there's a, a case that Everton potentially could get something now. They're around 9-1 to one to win away from home. It's more the double chance that I would be more inclined to go for because it just covers you a little bit. Yeah, I tend to agree. I'd be interested to see what the selection's going to be like from both managers with the fixtures, of course, coming thick and fast in this period. They have got the FA Cup next weekend so they can afford to rest players. I've looked at Gabriel Jesus going into this game. He's got five in the last four meetings between these two sides. 10-3 to three to open the scoring. I'm not sure he's going to get the nod but it's always dangerous against the Toffees. Yeah, he is always dangerous and like you said he, he may not get the nod but you know, he expected to come on at some point. I mean Aguero's only just come back from injury so how actually fit is he? You'd maybe, if he doesn't get the go you'd maybe expect him to come on for the last half an hour or so depending on what sort of situation is through the game but yeah I think Jesus is a good option It's also worth mentioning that Caroline Schott is a fantastic head-to-head -head record against Pep Guardiola from their time at Bayern Munich and Real Madrid Moving on and a bit of a uh, new manager theme to our video today David Moyes back at West Ham the news coming through overnight the Hammers are in dire straits after that 2-1 defeat to Leicester last time out sacking Manuel Pellegrini not won at home since the end of September but they've got a struggling Bournemouth to come on Wednesday yeah, and I think for Moyes, this is probably a good game to go into for his first one. I mean, West Ham have done a full 360, haven't they, from having and getting rid of him, Pellegrini, sacking him and bringing him back in. So, you know, he's got a he's got a job on his hands, but I think obviously Moyes knows the, the bulk of the players in there anyway, so I think he'll be able to get the best out of them. But Bournemouth, yeah, they're on a massive slide down the division at the moment. They looked horrible in that defeat against Brighton. I mean, Eddie Howe said he was happy with them so, sort of like the last half an hour of the first half, but I still think they were pretty poor. Um, they barely had any shots on target in the second half, if any. So, to be honest, I can't really see Bournemouth getting anything from this game. It'll be a difficult one. Yeah, Bournemouth, the underdogs going into it, 14-5 to for an away win, draw 14-5 to as well, 10-11 to for the Hammers. I picked out 10-1 to for a 2-0 home win for West Ham because, for me, Bournemouth simply don't score enough. Yeah, well, that's the issue, isn't it? I mean, Callum Wilson hasn't been scoring this season. He's their main goal outlet for the past couple of seasons. Josh King hasn't been doing very well. He's picked up injuries along the way as well. They're sort of relying on their younger players, their inexperienced players, to try and bring them through this little passage of play, this period of the season. And at the moment, they're not doing it. And, you know, they picked up an injury at the back as well with Jack Stacey going off injured against Brighton. So there's a lot of issues, I think, for Eddie Howe to deal with. Yeah, finally to the late game, Arsenal against Manchester United. In days gone by, this would have been a title decider, this match, wouldn't it? Even at this stage of the season, but both these sides are struggling. I have to say, actually, Manchester United are coming round a bit. They won the last two in pretty convincing fashion. But Arsenal, Mikel Arteta, where does he go from here? Losing 2-1 at home to Chelsea on Sunday. I still don't see the difference between himself and Unai Emery. No, well, that's the issue, isn't it? He's come in and it's still the same sort of style of play. It's still the same issues. You know, there they look good going forward, not as clinical as they could be, but it's at the back where they've got massive issues. I mean, Bern Leno, you can't really legislate for that kind of error that he made against Chelsea, but they, they just give up opportunities, I think, and that is what mm. happened. You know, he thought, that, he thought they were the better team, really, throughout that game. Two late Chelsea goals and it all turns around. So... I'm looking at it and I, I'm not really sure if I can go for a win at either side of the moment. Yes, man, you are starting to improve, but they're still inconsistent. You're not sure what you're going to get from them away from home. It's why it's the goal scorer markets that have appealed for me a little bit more here. Martial's got three in his last two. Rashford's got two in the last two as well. It's 23 to 20 for Rashford to score any time. You can get around 13 to 10 on Martial to score any time. So they seem like massive odds, I think, those. Yeah, I'm 
I agree with you there. I just can't see Arsenal not conceding. They are 8-5 to five to win the game. 13-5 to five Manchester United draw, 13-8. to eight. But I actually fancy an away win for Manchester United. 2-1 is 10-1. to one. It's just Arsenal's defence is just not good enough. Well, yeah, that's it. And the fact is that you would expect Arsenal to have a bit more possession than Manchester United in this game, being at home as well. And then the fact is that United like to hit teams on the break. That's where they've done their better work this season. So that'll bring into the, the pace they've got with Rashford, Martial, Dan James if he plays. And that's where the issues can come for Arsenal. Yeah, that's exactly what he did on Saturday at uh, Burnley. Uh, thanks for joining us. That's all we've got time for today. Remember to follow us across our social media platforms. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube.